Hi, I'm Heather Gray, a medical educator, also known as the Laser Babe, and we're here today with Dr. John Martin in beautiful Coral Gables, Florida, with Antonio, a 39-year-old Latin male who's had a lot of sun exposure. He works in the construction industry, and he lives in a sunny climate, and he's had some sun damage and a little bit of acne scarring, and he's the kind of a person who can't take a lot of time off work, but would like to improve the quality and the health of his skin. So I'm interested in what you're going to be doing with him today, Dr. Martin. Well, what we're, one of the things that bothers Antonio is this, he definitely has this demarcation line here, and he said that when he, in construction, he wears a hat, so that the lower part of his face will be a little bit darker than the forehead, and he has a pretty sharp demarcation line here. So what we're going to do is a little intense pulse light treatment, and what that will do, he still has some, actually some active acne, so that will help with that, help to shrink the pores down. It'll help to decrease the pigmentation that he has in the forehead, and just help to rejuvenate the skin. He also has some vessels here along his nose, and it'll help to decrease the appearance of the vessels. Now, he's recently started using sunblock, and we're going he will continue with that now, which we would strongly recommend, especially here in South Florida. And I would also start him on some sort of a Retin-A or Retinol program just to get the skin turning over a little bit more rapidly and also to help with any acne uh, breakouts that he's still having. Um, after we do this treatment today, how long will it be before we see a little bit of improvement in his skin? Well, he'll see some fairly rapid improvement in the pigmentation. What should happen is some of this darker pigmentation should actually get very dark and then just flake off and then the skin should just be much more even in, in color and in tone. And then as time goes on, he'll see a continued improvement in the appearance of the skin. And the Retin-A um, on an ongoing basis is going to give him ongoing improvement? Yes, definitely help with the, with the skin. That's great. It's nice to be able to do all these things in one appointment and not have to take a lot of time off work or take your time out of a busy schedule. Right. And do you have any concerns about the fact that he does have Latin skin, that it has been exposed to the sun quite a bit, so it's a little bit darker? Well, what we're going to do is use a, a longer uh, exposure time, so it'll go a little bit deeper, so that uh, we will not be using the same exposure time that we would use on someone with very, very fair skin. It'll leave it a little bit longer, and it helps to decrease any problems with the pigmentation mm -hmm. uh, and any burning of the skin that could occur. Let's talk about skin type a little. On the Fitzpatrick scale of 1 to 6, I'm going to put my face next to Antonio's, and we can talk about the two different skin types. Okay, one would be the color of this paper. So mm -hmm. Heather's about a 1, point, 1 to a 1.5, and I'd say Antonio's probably a 4, 4.5. Yes, I would yeah. agree. I would agree. Um, historically, we haven't been able to use some of these treatments on patients who have both skin in that type range and who also have this amount of photo exposure or what we would call suntan. So, right, and some of that is that with this, especially with this uh, intense pulse light treatment, the Palomar has a super cooled handpiece, so this is cooling the surface of the skin. Before we had this, what would happen is that the skin itself would often blister because the skin was heating up too much, the epidermis. Yes. And even though we're trying to treat more deeply, now this keeps the skin cool and then we're treating the deeper layers instead. But you, you can actually do it much more safely than you used to. Wonderful. So we're going to get a lot of bang for the buck today. We're going to be treating active acne, smoothing out some acne scarring, getting rid of some excess pigmentation, and dealing with these vessels all with the IPL, all in one treatment. That's really nice. Okay, thank right. you. Let the games begin. Dr. Martin's using a cooling roller here that helps make the skin a little bit more comfortable in addition to the cooling function in the handpiece. So it's a lot more comfortable than uh, procedures that we were doing even two years ago. And it has a safety factor. It really helps keep the skin cool while you're doing this. It's not lovely, but it's not hideous, right? No, it's not. It's the light, you know, even right. The light, light is just bright. ridiculous, isn't it? This is now here for our dries, especially. Antonio can't take time off work right now, like so many other people. Um, the, we work a lot here, and if we're fortunate enough to have jobs, we don't take time off for cosmetic procedures. <laughs> so one of the uh, reasons that we're doing such light treatment um, and the uh, combination treatment is because he's not going to have any downtime from this. He does have a condition on his lip known as actinic colitis. 
um, which most people who have this kind of sun damage also have on their lip. It's often called surfer lip, and it's from exposure of the lower lip to the sun because the sun comes directly down on it, and very few people um, protect their lips properly with sunblock. We're going to recommend that Antonio do that going forward. And when you can take a few days out of the sun, about a week, um, we would want to use CO2 laser to resurface his lip. And you, it will take care of all of the surface spots and the things below the surface that are certainly there if we're seeing this kind of damage on the surface. It'll turn back the cancer clock on his lip a minimum of 10 years. To treat so many conditions with a single treatment also makes this a lot more economical for your patients, doesn't it? Right, it really takes care of lots of it. takes care of the browns and the reds. Uh, you're right, it really helps illuminate the skin in many ways. Yes. Historically, we've had to address each of those with a different device or a different right. treatment. And the bill really adds up. It starts with ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. And here, it's one ka-ching. It's a really competitive job market now that um, so many people have lost their jobs and um, so many people in this age range have been kind of squeezed out of their occupations and they're going in to compete sometimes with younger people, uh, less experienced people, and they really want to look their best and this is a great affordable protocol that takes care of a lot of the superficial signs of aging um, and can really freshen up your look. So if there's one thing that you can do to improve your skin, this is one of those things. It can make you a little bit more competitive in this tough job market. And you didn't cry like a little girl. No, you but, you get tear, light. but you get tears in your eyes from the light flashing. Mm -hmm. And then also when you laze right here, everybody, everybody gets tears in their eyes. And a lot of people sneeze. <laughs> Imagine you're like lazing in there, <laughs> for example, me. We finished the IPL treatment for Antonio's um, pigment, his vessels, to smooth out some of the rough texture and some of the acne scarring on his skin, give him a little bit fresher look. And what are you doing now, Dr. Brown? Yeah, I'm just putting on a little bit of an aloe gel. It's just very cooling. Um, and we've tried lots of different things to found that this very inexpensive aloe gel from CVS Pharmacy is the best for for patient comfort. People really like the way this feels. We keep it in the refrigerator so it's nice and cool. Just put it on the face. It sort of instantly cools the skin, doesn't it? Is he going to need to do anything later? Is he going to need to put this on later? Or is, it, is this skin going to calm down? His skin will calm down. And then I would say just put some moisturizer on later because mm -hmm. it may feel a little bit dry mm -hmm. and a little bit warm, but it shouldn't be bad at all now. Do you want to give us a little bit of information about the kind of um, sun protection you would recommend for him going forward? What kind? Of, there's a thousand things on the market right now, and everything is better than everything else. It's very hard for a consumer. It's what you want is something that's at least an SPF of 15 to 30, and once you get above that, it, there's not a significant difference in the in the sun protection that you'll be getting. Because he has still has some little breakouts, you really want to use something that is non-comedogenic or, you know, for the more sensitive skins and... Something that's not going to flare up his acne. Right, exactly. And you may have to try a couple things to find out what's going to be compatible with your skin. Another important thing to look for is something that has some of the micropulverized zinc oxide because that's actually a physical block and you may remember the zinc oxide when we were kids, it's the bright white. Now they've micropulverized it so it doesn't give you that bright white uh, face anymore, but it actually really is a barrier block for the sun, so especially if he works or does a lot of things outdoors, it's very helpful to have that in the sunblock. Absolutely. Um, you put it on in the morning when you get up, just like when you wake up, you wash your face, you brush your teeth, and you put on your sunblock, and you give it a light coat, and you don't need to rub it in. By the time you go out the door, it's going to be penetrating in its own way, and you're fully protected. Okay? Good to go? Any questions? Okay. Um, all right. Very good. Thank you so Thank much, you. Antonio. Thank you.